Hello and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Louise Horn and today's video I'm going to share with you some products that I have been loving during March and I am wearing all the products today on my face and so I'm going to start off with the foundation. Now this foundation is from Rimmel London and it is their lasting finish 25 hour breathable foundation and I absolutely love this foundation. I have actually been to the hairdressers today and my hairdresser actually asked me what foundation I was using because she said that it looked really really smooth. So this moisturises for 25 hours. Now I've never worn it for 25 hours I've got to say but it does claim to moisturise for 25 hours. This is in the colour 201 Classic Beige. Now the one thing that I noticed when I first opened this foundation is that it has got a doe foot applicator. Now I've never ever used a foundation before with a doe foot applicator but I've got to say I love it because Usually I will put a couple of pumps onto my hand and then I will apply my foundation with a beauty blender or with a brush from my hand and so it's quite messy. I've got to then wash my hands after I've put my foundation on but with this I just put it straight onto my face with the applicator. There is no mess. It goes on beautifully. I absolutely love the coverage of it it's a medium coverage but you can go quite light if you want so it's light to medium coverage and you get a SPF of 20 yeah I'm so pleased that I went for the breathable foundation because it's one of my favorites I really do like Rimmel foundations and um, this is definitely my favourite at the moment. I have been using it every day since I bought it and I just think it's really really nice. I would definitely highly recommend this foundation. It's really really nice. So the next product that I have been absolutely loving is this Rimmel London Insta Fix and Matte Powder. So this translucent powder is for a matte finish you can use it to set your foundation which is what I use it for or you can use it as a finishing um, step after you have put your makeup on and you can use it for touch-ups during the day as well it is a very white powder it seems to lighten your foundation a little bit and so yeah if you've got a darker skin tone I'm not sure if this would be good for somebody with darker skin but I'm not sure but uh, yeah it definitely does put a little bit of a whiteness onto your skin and so I do think that it makes your foundation look a little bit lighter than what it is um, and so but I really really do like this powder I have been using it every single day since I bought it um, on top of my Rimmel uh, breathable foundation and so yeah these two I have been absolutely loving this month now the next item that I'm going to talk about is this Pixie by Petra blusher now it is in the shade beach rose now at first when I saw the blusher I thought that it looked a little bit too dark but it's the blusher that I've got on at the moment and I think it looks really nice. I think it would be really, really nice when you've got a tan. I, um, when you are a little bit fair skinned, you've got to be quite careful with it so that you don't put too much on. I've got to say sometimes if I have put a little bit too much of this blusher on, I have gone over the top with my Insta Matte 
powder just to tone the colour down a little bit but I think it's a beautiful colour. I have been using it quite a lot since I opened it. I'm not sure where I got this from. I, don't, I, I think it was one of my advent calendars but I can't remember which one. I um, definitely would recommend it. I think it's really nice. So yeah, I'm really, really looking forward to giving this a go when I have been out in the sun and got myself a little bit of a tan. But um, yeah, that's another product I have been loving this month. Now, another product is this Wet n Wild Colour Icon um, palette. Now, I do love the Colour Icon palettes by Wet n Wild. They were... Uh, mentioned as part of my favourites for 2018 but this one is a new palette that I bought um, this month. really like the nice uh, earthy colours in the Comfort Zone palette and so I have used this a few times. It's the colours that I've got on my eyes at the moment. So this palette has got two matte shades which are for the transition shades and then it has got another eight shades which are all really really nice. I am absolutely loving this green colour here and this darker green as well for the uh, corners of my eyes. I, um, I absolutely love these palettes and this one has become one of my favourites. So yeah, I have been really, really liking this eyeshadow palette. I think that the shades are really, really nice, really pigmented and they do last on my eyes for um, quite a few hours. And so yeah, I absolutely love these palettes, definitely would highly recommend. Now the next item is a lip gloss and it is the Benefit Dandelion Lip Gloss. Now I got this in a makeup kit. I can't remember which one it was but I have been absolutely loving this lip gloss. I'm not usually one for wearing lip gloss but when I do have a lip gloss I like the ones that are not really sticky on your lips and this, I've got it on now, I think it's absolutely lovely. It's, it's really... Um, it's really understated, which is how I like my lips to be. A little hint of pink and yeah, I really, really do like this lip gloss and um, yeah, really, really nice. So yeah, that's the end of my favourites. So yeah, so I've had my breathable foundation, my Rimmel Insta Fix and Matte Powder, my Pixie by Petra blush, my Wet and Wild Colour Icon palette and my Benefit Dandelion gloss. I have absolutely been loving these products this month and um, yeah, I, uh, I have been reaching for it. These two, every single day I've reached for these two for the last um, month since I, since I bought them. And so yeah, definitely would highly recommend these two. And this one, I think that the colours are fabulous. Really, really, really pretty, especially the green. Greens are what drew me to this palette. I'm not usually one for wearing green eyeshadow, but I saw this and I think the greens are really, really pretty. And uh, yeah, I think they do look really, really nice on the eyes. Absolutely love these palettes. I definitely cannot recommend these enough. I think they're really, really nice. And yes, the Dandelion Lip Gloss. If you do like a lip gloss, it smells beautiful as well. It smells really, really nice. I do like my makeup products to smell nice. Well, I do like everything really to smell like nice. Yeah, really, really nice. Not sticky at all. So that's it from me and my favourites for March. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. And uh, please consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. And uh, hopefully I will see you in my next video. Alright then, thank you. Bye.